Hello everyone, welcome to Ignition. Hello and today we're back in the chairs and we thought we'd have a quick look at our Project L200 build. Right, well it's been a while. We've just cocked it up already, haven't we? Yeah, we never cock up. Yeah, we never cock up, but I started talking as he wanted to introduce us. But yeah. anyway. Oh, and it's freezing it as well. It is, it's Portugal cold. has turned really cold. Yeah, so it's gone down to about 10 degrees. Yeah, so if there's a funny little whine in the background, it's our very, very effeminate heater. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's not substantial enough for the room, but hey ho. No. So, like we said, we're going to talk about the L200 build we've done. Yeah, so hopefully you watched it and uh, we thought we would discuss what we did and what turned out and what we're going to do in the future. Yes, we are. So um, the first video we uploaded was uh, the dismantling video. Um, it's our, this is our first sort of project, wasn't it? Yeah, because as, uh, as we've said on many occasions, even though um, people may think that uh, because we're spoiled and we've got a lift that we know what we're doing, we don't have a no, clue. No, no, we know absolutely the bare These minimum. These hands have never done a genuine day's work. What they've done is held nice leather steering wheels round and round and round and round the M25. Yeah, that's what you did. For 30 years. And uh, now I'm old enough, we're uh, doing things you've wanted to do, aren't we? So, um, yeah, yeah. So and I took, I did, I did one sort of six month to a year course at mechanics at college, um, which taught me. And you me learned f I all. learned, uh, thanks Dad, I'll have to bleep that Absolutely out. Absolutely f all he learned. Yeah, so I learned absolutely nothing on that, um, but it was sort of pretty pointless. We can destroy things very well. Well, the theory was that w with no experience, can you tackle any of these jobs uh, yourself? And clearly the answer was no. Yes. Um, so <laughs> no, no, that's not true. Uh, no, we, only, we only had a catastrophic fail on the prop shaft, didn't catastrophic we? Catastrophic fail. I'd say it was catastrophic. Uh, we snapped it. Well, bent it in half. So we'd have no drive. Yeah, 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 that's So that, I'd say that was as bad as we could have done on the prop shaft. So let's go through each one we did. Yep, so okay. the first one, we dismantled it. And what we did, when we say dismantled the car, we were, the, 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 the main things we were doing, we were going to do a full suspension Rebuild, upgrade yep, or upgrade. new parts. Yes. The uh, prop shaft, the center bearing, bearing was, was knackered. Yeah, well, there wasn't one. Yeah. And then we were going to do, we wanted to put some sexy, uh, Bushings in. Bushings, yes. Polyurethane. Polyurethane, not silicon. I keep calling them silicon and I don't know why. Not silicon. They look like hard silicon, but anyway, yep. they were polyurethane bushings. They were. To hopefully improve the cornering and stability. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So, that, so what we wanted to do, we drove the truck, we've driven it on the road, we've done. Done a fair thing. Well, you've done. Yeah. I've uh, Probably 25,000 kilometres Yeah, 25,000 kilometres, I reckon. Yeah. And we could see it was tired. Yeah. And it was getting old like me. Mm -hmm. And oh, obviously, I can't have all my power. I could do with a new knee today, couldn't I? Yeah, he's been moaning about his knee. Oh, but, that's my knee. Oh. but the shocks we know were absolutely knackered. They I were mean, knackered. We, we got it and we were pleasantly surprised how well it drove. I no, mean, no. In a different life, um, a pal of mine's brother had one. Mm. And we always used to refer to it as the truck, and I drove it once, and it was absolutely, as I remember, appalling. Yeah, well, every time I saw one, I said, oh, I like that. And you said, yeah, horrible. They are horrible. <laughs> I, mean, I was a bit spoilt at the time. I was driving quite a nice car, and I suppose jumping from that to a pickup truck. Yeah, of its age and variety. Well, it was brand new. Oh, yeah, true, even back new. then. But they weren't so sort of comfort oriented like they are now. Oh, you can buy one with a full leather interior. And it's got now, auto, but this yeah. is the same as the yes. one we've, or you've yeah, got. Yeah, it is, but, but I suppose even then it still wasn't amazing. You know, it still wouldn't have been nice. No, no, but why do I like it now? Oh, no idea, because we drive older cars. I don't know. I, I suppose, have, maybe, I no maybe. So we, we, we drove it and we were both, uh, particularly me, actually, I, mm. was I found it remarkable how well for a leaf spring knackered <laughs> old truck, Mitsubishi yeah. truck, it drove really nicely because we have a, an uphill... It's very windy road. Windy um, road mountainous here. Mountainous sort of 30 road 30 kilometres from home to here. Mm. And, ah, oh, it's great fun. Yeah, corners, amazing. Crap, crap Chinese. The, the hardest tyres you could tires, possibly Off-road hardest tyres you've ever, which yeah. you can see, because there'll be pictures going up behind Yeah, us they're not we. good years, they're good rides. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and they're, they're grim. So we took it a bit. Yeah. We then... 
did the front suspension. The one thing about the Mitsubishi is it's got a torsion beam suspension, front suspension. Yeah. So if you want to fit new damper shocks, whatever, wherever part of the world you are, we we tend to call them shocks. Shocks, don't we? yeah, we call them um, shocks or dampers. But I think the proper name is that they're dampers, mm. suspension dampers. That was an absolute doddle. Yeah, I mean it's two bolts. Wasn't yeah, it, really? it was a doddle. So um, so we can't complain about that. That yeah, went very easily. You could do that on the driveway or on your yeah, even lawn. We, even we did it easily. So that, can't that's complain. An that was an absolute doddle. So that went really well. Then we tackled the polyurethane bushings. We did, and that was a, well. Uh, what we found out was we were doing it wrong, yeah. weren't we? Because yeah. I watched videos, because halfway through we were getting so stroppy over it because we tried to get this sway bar on. If you've watched the video, you saw my dad cursing over the bonnet halfway through. Oh, yeah. Um, because well, it was, then, to be fair, the, the other th reason is that I would be holding something and then he'd yank it up in with his full weight and got oh, my... I did crush little, his finger at both one time. Of them, but, both yeah, crush, thumbs. crush both his thumbs. Um, but that, yeah. So I'm not going to blame myself for that. But it turns out that on the videos I've seen, it's easier to replace the two inners or the two outers first. Don't take all of it off because yeah. obviously then it's not all aligned, ready to put back on. So we were fighting with the car. And we were up in the air. We were. So it was much easier to put a bit of weight on the car, wasn't it, at the end of it, and get it. So that down. one actually I think is a good video. It is. If you're tackling it for the first time yeah, and you want to see what not to do. Yes, don't do what it. we did. Yeah, yeah. So, so it, well, that's helpful, isn't I it? I think it was helpful and I think that we learned something as well, didn't we? We did it? and we enjoyed that. Yeah, so then we moved on to the rear leaf suspension and shocks, didn't we? Which we Again. Also, we also did a bit of powder coating on that. Yeah, we did some powder coating. So we were cleaning and because the, the, if you watch the first one, the vehicle was disgusting. Yeah, horribly muddy. And quite dusty. a few of the questions we've had revolve around how did it look so clean at the end yes yes yeah, good question um, which it cover. certainly doesn't now no but um it looked really clean and it, it looked rusty and actually it wasn't rusty here in portugal where we've or you've done some off-roading it's sort of clay dust and yeah mud it's an and orange and dust yeah very very strong rusty color so it did look rusty and to be fair to it it hasn't really got no any it rust hasn't got it. much rust at all so it may look like and this is the reason we're doing this one um if people can didn't mention it to much, us. no did we, we didn't mention it probably quite enough that actually when you looked underneath and it looked like it was just this heap of um japanese rust junk <laughs> yeah. it actually wasn't it was all in pretty good condition scratched just covered in clay dust but, yeah clay yeah. dust it is when it's wet it's clay when it's dry it's just orange dust and it's orange dust so what we did was we went through we we like the product called ACF50, which is an anti-corrosive sort of oil which you can use on plastics, rubbers. It just seems to not do any damage to anything. No, it just seems to protect it slightly, doesn't it? But if it? you've got corrosion, it will inhibit its progress. And if you haven't got any, it'll stop it forming. So as we went down, we cleaned the whole vehicle underneath, chassis, the lot. Yeah, everything. Um, we spent hours cleaning. And that's why it did at the end. It looked it, like a different it vehicle. It looked brand new, really, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. We were very chuffed with the outcome of that. So that's, how, that's what we did, is we took bits off, we cleaned them all in ACF 50 um, and then cleaned around them and mm. put it back so yes. that's why it started to look much better than it, it probably did it wasn't really that we were making transforming no, we weren't painting stuff. anything or no, anything no we like painted that. the odd um, we painted the exhaust yes and the, that was rusty the bar that connects the wheels together we yeah, painted that that was it but that was all literally nothing really visible no 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 um, and all the rest was just ACF 50 so that's probably your number one product, isn't it? Rear suspension, yeah. that was um, a doddle. Same as the front, really, went remarkably easy. Just heavy, the leaf springs the were leaves just were heavy. heavy. Um, just to make sure, didn't... Wear steel toe caps. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't drop anything on no, ourselves. Didn't, but, no, didn't, um, luckily. You, you want to make sure that you've yeah. got your protection on. If you're doing it on your own, the way we did the leafs were... Sort of disconnect the front and swing and, it down. And let it swing down, then you can get hold of it, but really you, wanna, you want you someone need, to help you. Yeah, you need a buff buddy. Um, after that, we moved on to the prop shaft. Which was yes. the main cause of why we did all this, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Because when we got the vehicle, we looked underneath um, once we got it up on the ramp and realised that that was worn. Well, I mean, we say worn, gone. Yeah, there was nothing left, wasn't no, there? No. It was just, the, the, it was remarkably knackered. Knackered, there was absolutely nothing. And we did have a funny, we had two issues that um, we weren't happy with, or three issues and one still there. Um, which is a bit of blue, a bit of white smoke, white smoke coming smoke, yeah. out. We've got to do it, deal with that. We're going to deal with that fairly soon. Yeah. But the, the issues that we had were graunching in the gear. As we went through the gears, it graunched. Second to third was especially bad. And we paid someone to put a new clutch in, and it made no difference whatsoever. But they never told us there was anything wrong with it. No. So we then 
got this sort of man cave shed thing that we've got. Yeah. And when we looked at it underneath the the centre bearing, bearing was, was going, and it used naked, to no yeah. we heard knocking, and we were convinced. I was convinced it was. That. Yeah. If you did sort of a left to right, it would sort of make a knocking noise, yes. and it was the metal of the bearing inside. Just there was no s s sort of seal around it anymore. No. It completely perished, so it was banging metal on metal. So the the other thing that once we got it up in the air that we spotted was that the transfer case is that the right transfer case? Yes. That the mount. There was that a mount, mount. Is sort of a rubber inside another, uh, which you can see on the. Well, there'll be a picture there. Yeah. Uh, instead of me doing this, it'll be there. Yeah. Uh, and that was completely free, but. We, it looked broken. It looked broken, but we've been told since then that's how it should be. But we've replaced that, and that has. Us had a. To be fair, I don't drive the truck lightly. It gets, no, it, no. Get, it gets wheel spun off road. It gets everything, and that hasn't split. It hasn't split, but also the gear change is vastly improved. Yes, it, I don't know if it's us being psychological, but I don't think it is. No, I no, 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 it isn't. I no. genuinely think that second to third, that graunch is it's under gone. half, yeah, nearly it gone. Nearly gone, mm. yeah, it virtually doesn't graunch anymore. So I think there was movement Just, in that transfer yeah, ever so case. slight movement. Whether that yeah. makes any difference to a gear change, I don't no know, idea. but I'm assuming that the change in the prop and that combined has somehow solidified the gearbox. But yeah, I, I, I can't see why it would grind, but no, me neither. I'm not really a gearbox expert. No, it um, shouldn't make any difference, but it, it seems to have done. It certainly drives smoother. Yes, and on that video, we also powder coated the mount. We, we did. And we, oh, we oh like that does that. look nice. Underneath, it's yeah. very subtle, red, and it does look good. We're happy with that. Um, and then we did another video powder coating on the rear leaf springs that yes. we did, um, just to show how we powder coated. And then we also moved on to the brakes. Yes. That was a big job. Um, yeah, so you rebuilt fully uh, rebuilt, uh, powder, powder coated. Powder, we we sandblast the we sandblast all the metal work. Yeah, and then we powder coated them, and then got a we got which proved quite difficult to get in Portugal. They kept giving us the wrong parts. the size. Yeah, it was so it was all quite a slow process. Uh, we, we haven't meant uh, so we did, we did the. Um, we rebuilt those, put them on, yes. they look really nice, and yeah. we put new discs, new discs on. on. Which was um, a first for us, because normally you just undo the disc with a little securing bolt and they come off. But also this one's a four-wheel drive and quite old-fashioned style. It's got locking um, hubs on it, so you have to take all that apart and the bearing out yeah. and all sorts. So that was a good learning so curve we as well. So we re-greased those and yeah. put them back in. Um, yes, I saw someone comment saying we should have re-greased those. We did. Yeah, we did off camera. We, didn't we? we did a, put a bit of grease in them, but they were completely jam packed anyway. Yeah, they, they were. We didn't, we didn't degrease them no, either. No, um, we did. They were in very good condition. Yeah, they were good. So um, we did uh, put just new, put a bit of new stuff around. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we didn't. We did because we're not the it. finest at camera work, are we? No, we no. get bored with the camera there, work. There are bits that yeah, you forget to move it or something, and then yeah. when you're editing, I go, oh no, I forgot that. Yeah, that. Forgot yeah. Or that I forgot part. to turn the camera on. Yes, and then uh, we also did a video brake bleeding. Uh, just yes. showing how to bleed the brakes. We've mentioned the prop shaft, haven't we? We certainly have. Yeah, so we didn't mention... Oh, we didn't mention the universal joints that we changed in No, those. we changed the universal joints, but also we 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 bought for this purpose a uh, hydraulic, hydraulic press. press. And what we ended up doing was just completely compressing the... Yeah, the... the it, it goes... Again, it's behind, but it goes like that. This part here, we just crushed it. Yeah, it's sort of like a fork, and then the universal joint goes in and attaches like this, and then the prop shaft goes out. And we did completely bend the fork. The top half sort of went like this. Um, yeah, it was which, a 200 euro um, piece of damage. Yeah, for 200 us. euro piece of damage. Um, but that didn't go well. And then we found out, because we saw on YouTube people doing it with a hammer, and we thought it'd be much easier with a hydraulic press. That's why we got one. Um, but the resistance, obviously, of the pressure completely stopped it moving, and then it just bent. No, no one's there. we've been unlucky on comments, or mm. we've been unlucky. It hasn't had the finest views, and probably there is actually nobody watching this no, now. No, no. Um, other than Mikey, because he wants to just see me grease my pole. Yeah, yeah. But, who doesn't um, love a bit of greasy pole? Who doesn't poles? want to see me grease my pole? But um, we've got we've we haven't had any really good comments. No, no. So I'm chuckling about your greasy pole. Yeah, well, it, as I know, would, childish. It, it's, it's a monster, monstrously large. Yes, but the, the views and comments haven't been great on the L200 series. Um, no, it wasn't very popular. But but we, ne we were unlucky that we didn't get any... I suppose people who really know what they're doing wouldn't watch it. No, no, I in suppose. In fairness. No, someone who's... You wouldn't watch two idiots doing messing it up. But no. it would have been nice to have got someone to go, you know, you were a knob there, you should mm. have done this or that. So we haven't learned from our comments. No. We've learned from our mistakes, haven't we? We have. Um, there was a lot. 
But since doing the build, obviously the last video was the rebuild video, which has only went up a couple of days ago. Um, but since doing that, the suspension off-road doesn't seem as massively different, well, but the, we've the got to do an experiment, haven't we? It was quite firm and very well adjusted to cornering before. Which it shouldn't... Which it shouldn't have been, really, but it was. Because the dampers were knackered. Yeah, so we were sort of expecting it to be worse around the corners. I thought the suspension would be much softer. Yes. I don't, I don't know why, but I expected a little bit more of a compliant, soft ride. I expected it to be different. Uh, so, yes. The yeah, only thing different. it's no noticeably different is over speed humps at speed. It is. Yes. The front, the fronts you don't feel it, and then obviously you get jolted at the back because of the, the leaves. leaves. Yeah. But you actually absor absorbs the bumps at the front now, which it didn't. So that's a lie. Well, so it does have a difference. What we haven't done. So we filmed before we did anything. We've put GoPros underneath. We have. And we filmed ourselves up in the mountains behind yes, the. Yes, we found a sort of up downhill road didn't we as well yeah, so to, a, a fire do they call them fire tracks fire tracks maybe yeah um and with, with a fairly steep yeah, I mean, yeah. it doesn't look anything on camera no but it was hard to walk well, up it was very hard i wouldn't walk up with my dodgy knee no no you wouldn't um but we recorded the suspension how it moved and we also documented what sort of it felt like and we're now going to redo which we haven't done as of yet because it's bloody freezing it is and pouring with rain and because we've become acclimatized to portugal I'm it's sitting in my hands, I'm 10 freezing. degrees, we've got the heater blowing on, I've got about four layers yeah, on under I'm here. I'm in my knitted jumper. Um, and in, in the UK, people will be in their um, blooming t-shirts. T-shirts, yeah, yeah. But we're freezing. Mm. Um, so we're going to wait another month or so for the weather to break. Mm. Um, it'll be still, and, and we don't want it damp and wet because we did it in the dry. We did it in the bone dry. So we want to be fair to it, and then we'll do a side by side comparison. Yeah. Try and put the two GoPros up on each half of the screen while when, when mm -hmm. we do it, and, and see what it's like. Yes, it'll be quite interesting. And obviously, since that, I have done a little bit of off roading in it. Seems to be the suspension's held up fine. We've had no issues so far. Have we? It's been no, a couple no, of weeks. No, no, um, no problem at all. And I think I think I should be giving you a competition in your Jeep. Yeah, well, you know, you're not going to be seeing my Jeep um, ever what? going off-road. Well, it's he does annoy me because he's got that lovely Jeep sitting downstairs and he's never taken it off-road with me. Okay, so we've got the final video of comparison compared the old versus new to do. Yeah, we've got that to do. We were going to detail it, but as you keep dragging it down a hedge, we won't. No, there's no the point. The outside. No, I'm liking the off-roading now, um, so there's no point cleaning it up. Um, you can detail my, well you will be detailing my um, Wrangler. Your Wrangler, yeah that needs Yeah, you can polish fair. the polish that's already on it. Yeah. You can, I can already see my face in it. Okay, um, so we'll do that and then that's more or less it for the L200, L200. but we're going to do some off-road challenges. We We've are. got a nice app here in Portugal which it gives takes us, trails. us on trails. So we're going to do some off-roading, aren't we? Yeah, so we'll do some, I think you can do, we haven't used it, but it's beginner intermediate and hard yes, is it yes yeah, so we only found this over the christmas period and you've got uh, it is i think it, that's you how can it choose falls. your levels as such. so we'll start off with an easy one yep because we don't know what that entails. no no we haven't um, done much off-roading because they so. all seem to be people in massively lifted yeah um, like pajeros and, and lankers and and things, yeah so their idea of easy and ours may be two completely different things so we'll start easy and we'll work our way up yeah so we'll do a little bit of off-roading in it I yeah think that'll be a good series to do so that'll be good and yeah. then um, we'll see what we do about our cars and what comes we'll on see next. what happens with the, and yeah. then hopefully we'll get back in the chairs and review some yeah, we um, cars that we can't afford yeah haven't done this for a while have we no feels no. Weird. feels a bit weird it does but i've enjoyed it so hopefully you enjoyed the series um and if you did if you, sure. no one will have got this far but if you didn't go back and watch them yeah. um because they're absolutely rubbish yeah and leave a comment on whatever you say because yeah. there's a couple of innuendos in there if you see them mike yes we know you appreciate those he'll have never got this far he'll have got bored true but thank you for the comments, Mikey. Yes, I think you're the only one. Yeah. Um, but other than that, we're um, we're out. We're off. We? We're out of here. We're now off out of here because we've got things to we do. We are. So, and uh, I need to get back onto some, get some heating on me because yes, yeah, it's cold in here. Freezing. Yeah. So let's crack thank on. Thank you for watching. Thank you. And we don't know when this will go out, but no. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and let's hope 2021 is better for everybody concerned. So, yes. um, thank you for, thank watching, you for watching. If you have been.